but we're back in action with Mono versus Blu-ray, Yoshi versus Fox. Versus Fox, yeah. Uh, Yokai in the chat, lovely friend. Uh, letting us know that Mono usually plays Fox and ZSS and is from the like conquered Antioch area. Okay, nice, nice. Oh, I was expecting up throw up here. I'm watching the wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different Smash game, right? Wrong Smash, my bad. Oh, the shield almost cracked. Yeah, that's a brave man. We're really making great use of those little, like, one-two hits of the Yoshi aerials. Yeah. And I saw him in doubles using those, like, the, the auto-cancel back air into things like up smash and just all sorts of tech chases, so... I'm interested to see where this goes today. Yeah, I mean, I think as of now, Mono's doing a uh, Mono's doing a pretty good job of just pressuring Yoshi right now, just not really giving him any space to get his game plan started. Nice parry. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't expect that fair conversion to work, but it did. All right, nice. Yeah, Yoshi. The thing with that was that dash attack nair was that Yoshi has his own nair to counter that, so you you can't overcommit too much versus Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi nair is so good. All right, there you just gotta like bait out the panic option. Ooh, that was probably an up air that Blue Ray wanted. Yeah, definitely. That reaches. Or was it he expecting a drop down? It does. These platforms are uh, just a little bit lower than Battlefield platforms. Oh, okay, okay. Puff can sing them, too. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Does not have a kill throw. Oh. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I think, yeah, there's... Blu-ray is just not able to get any... Oh, there we go. There we go, all right. Take some momentum. <laughs> Oh, good tech chase. These are, the, these are a lot of traits. Okay. All right, let's see where this goes. Yeah, like right there, he pun he baited out the Nair, and he might have been able to do something if he parried it, but it's on the right track. It's on the right track. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that up there is going to be a problem versus Yoshi. Still living, that's a big... Oh. The nose wasn't thick enough to be a heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, so I think the issue with that, let's see, I'm trying to think where would Blu-ray want to go. I think the main thing with that was just, it kind of just seemed like, it kind of just seemed like Mono was just kind of not letting Blu-ray, like, get any hot sequences, just not really letting him breathe. Yeah, I mean, when he was never really able to get his game plan going, and the the problem with it, like, being the stage counter pick is that they kind of have the same game plan, but they, Fox just has better frame data to do it with. I, yeah, he definitely has some, like, he also just has more combo starters in comparison to Yoshi. Yeah, But I so, do see, I do like this pick of Battlefield just because it gives him more mix-up potential and more tech chase situations. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, see, look, there he is, baiting, the, baiting out the panic options. Oh, nice yeah. way. Larry was using the double jump armor to get out of that situation. Got a little bit off of it, but still not in the best position. I think the last game, that bear actually went through the eggs, too, which is unfortunate. Dang. They're trading some blows here, but it's definitely looking a little bit better for Blu-ray than it did in Game 1. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Ooh! Oh, Fox is so cool. <laughs> Fox is so cool. And that's why we need to convince Zack to play Fox. Oh, Zack, if you're watching... Play Fox! Oh, I, I don't think he was trying to shoot for that angle. I think he was trying to go for a more upward angle. Yeah.
Um, Mana has just been parrying all of these incoming aerials now, and it's so hard as a Yoshi did. Yeah, because you don't exactly have good ground buttons as Yoshi. Yeah. You, but the issue is if you, like... The Fox has both of those, and if... So you gotta be really careful with your, like, aerial timings and your spacing of it. Otherwise, Fox is just gonna get some good free punishes. I definitely think... I think, I think Blu-ray needs to play more passive. No, I don't exactly know. Yoshi's kind of got a weird jump, so you can't really just, like, empty hop around as much. Yeah. Alright, I'm... Nice, alright. Yeah. Hit him with the tax evasion up air. Dude, I'm a, I'm a long-time fan of Blu-ray. I love seeing him at events. It's always great to have him. But I'm quickly becoming a fan of Mana as well. Like, this is my first real experience getting to see Ma him play, but... Mana be schmoovin'. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, there we go. Got a little something going. Down tilt. I like what he was fishing for there. The jab. Yep, there we go. Oh, oh no. He missed up the jab block, I think. All right, slowly bringing this back. I like this. He just needs one good smash attack, and they're down to the same stocks. Yeah, every, bit, every little bit counts here, so. Uh, up tilt into up air is going to take it as well? Or? That being oh, said, man. Blue Ray is doing so. using using back air so well. Yeah, like, definitely. He's using it as a great walling tool, and he's using it as a great, like, out of shield option like that. Just like that. Oh. Uh, and that back air is going to take it. Yeah. Well played from both players, like, valiant effort from Blue Ray there, and just a really strong showing from Mono. He was bringing it, he was bringing it back towards the end. I think he was, Absolutely. he was starting to get a groove of things. 